Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step 2 Megabase series. In between the episodes I took myself the liberty of setting up another Mega module and also a liquid station. And as a result, if we check our production right now, we are at 4.7 thousand science packs per minute. Of course, the number that I can guarantee with my current number of modules is 4,600, and if ever possible, I would like to bump this up to 5,000 in today's episode. One thing I had to do is hook up a bunch more of these oil resources, and I also had to check. Some of them I actually did not have hooked up to the power. Let's see, there was another resource that I hooked up, but essentially I now have all of the stations filled up, so we are keeping up with generating the resources. So maybe in the beginning of the episode we set up another smelting module that we could do right here. As a matter of fact, I should be able to just paste that in. Though, yeah, I might want to get rid of the power poles. So if we just do something along these lines, getting rid of the power poles, then we should be able to set up the copper smelter. And oh no, I always forget that I haven't really updated it yet with the new intersection here. So this is kind of stupid. But I think we can still manage just hooking this up right there. That should be good. Uh, I forgot to take away the power poles here as well. And then we paste it in again. Okay, and just like that, we should be able to build this without issues and have it being functional right off the bat. Though I'm not entirely sure anymore if we can set up one of these modules in one go with the amount of Spidertrons we have. Um, yeah, looks like we do not quite have enough beacons. That is actually rather disappointing because the rest we were able to build. Ah, no, never mind. There is lots of stuff we weren't able to build such as the inserters. So let's make our way back to the crafting hub here and we're gonna introduce the trains. We need what? The copper trains? Five of them. No, five pairs. And that was another thing we actually needed to take care of, to be able to paste more trains in one go. So say for instance I want to paste in two trains like so, but then I don't want to stop here. We could continue with two more, potentially even three. Yeah, this might work out though. I will have to change something about this intersection. So now that would be five trains that I can set up in one go. And if I wanted, I could just make these go in here and this guy go straight over. They would be forced to go in a certain direction, but that doesn't really matter. It's just the launching phase. Could I potentially do one more? Where would this go? This could also go in here. Interesting. Yeah, you know, I feel like that would be good enough. Let's just go ahead and do that. Oh no, wait, I need to be able to set up the lights. That was the initial issue. I have to interrupt what I'm doing very briefly because I need to take care of the critters again. Um, let me see. There was a critter somewhere and they actually came from down below here where I need to expand a little bit. What we need to do is expand here into the lake territory, but I think we can already deconstruct this. That should be fine. And now if I'm lucky, I still have all the landfill in my Spidertrons in order to do that. Yes, at least it's looking promising. No, unfortunately, I did not have enough stone with me. So what we're going to do is set up another stone mine here. Let me just get rid of some stuff here. And this time around, we're going to be using this planner again. Let's go north and do that. That should be good. And we're going to plan this outpost very briefly. Oh, looks like I made a little mistake not actually launching the trains here. Yeah. That was a silly little mistake. And we're gonna pay dearly for the next few minutes for this. Oh, looks like we are down with the power again. Yeah, it's time to set up more solar panels. I mean, we only have a quarter million. Either way, I kind of wanna copy over this part here and we're gonna paste it right over there. That should be fine. Build it with our robots. Yeah, we don't even manage to really charge up the accumulator. This is not gonna get full until nighttime. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is set up 10 solar panel arrays starting from the end of the mega module and that will be the end of the mega base. If we check this out on the other side that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then we do two more and that will be the end. And then we can do this all the way down to here, make it nice and square and that hopefully is gonna work out like a charm. Good. The new landfill machine is running. This will now be the bottom part here that I can utilize in order to fill up these lakes. There will be lots to do. Let me quickly check my production. We're back to 4.5 
thousand per minute but the problem is as soon as it gets nighttime then we're gonna be running out of power and that is gonna dramatically decrease the amount we're producing good i started to explore here a little bit just eliminated the critters that were in the near vicinity but you can see the next bubble we have to set up will be somewhere here in order to remain secure and there's another problem here so two more bubbles i will at least have to set up but this is just gonna keep going yeah maybe another here cheese and then another one over here as well oh my gosh good i think we're back to business yeah almost 5,000. as a matter of fact this is absolutely wonderful but now i would say it's time to set up more of these solar panels this is already two four six eight ten so this is already where we approximately want to have it and that means i can start setting up all of these solar arrays right here and as a matter of fact they will be continuing all the way up to this point probably so all of this will be solar arrays even though right now we cannot uh, quite place everything i'm just getting a quick landfill refill by the way i also added two more of the fluorotrons just to be a little bit quicker here but now we can make our way over here and start to finalize this and I guess one thing we can also do is remove the power poles here. And this should allow me to set up these solar fillers without any issues. This is looking really good, though in the end I might want to just copy over an entire array here. Or maybe even make a better blueprint for the solar arrays. Good, well you look at that. This is uh, definitely going to improve our situation here when it comes to power. But of course that also means lots and lots of building that has to be done. I would say if I ever launch another mega base series, I'm probably going to lay more focus on robot building so I don't have to do everything with my spider trons. Good, I did end up placing a whole bunch of solar panels. I think I forgot to place the power grid. No, actually it goes down below here. So we're still going to be good. But now it's time to fill up the lake and just keep going here with the solar array until we have enough power. Jeez, I can carry way more solar panels than I first thought. This is good news, but it also makes me think about adding more storage. Because right now my solar panels, well, they seem to be doing something here. But not all the machines are doing something. So I'm assuming we could add two more of these storage chests and two more right here. If I just copy this, uh, robots should come and build them. And then more of the solar panels and accumulators can get to work while I'm doing other stuff. Okay, we finally ran dry. I'm just going to allow the robots to charge up. Then I'm going to make my way over here in order to take apart this iron ore spot. And afterwards, I guess we're also going to fill up on landfill and then go back to the crafting hub right here as well. So first things first, we're going to disconnect this. Yeah, already get this train, remove everything here and there. Yeah, and I guess we don't really want that train either. So we're going to blow it up as usual. Also grab the rest of the tracks here should be fine and you know since this is in the way of the next mega module i think i'm also gonna eliminate this mine here and just like that everything is gone as if it were never there while we're at it i'm gonna deconstruct everything in the vicinity of the mega module and we're also getting rid of the power poles wherever necessary and then we should be able to just paste it in uh, let's already do that just line it up with the radar at the bottom right yeah and just like that, we should be able to build it, right? No, I think I have to take away more power poles. Let's just do all of them. There, okay. And I think we can already get started with the build. I mean, whatever we can build, we already have built before we then go ahead and refill the Spidertrons. Now, this is uh, definitely digging a little bit into the performance. Also, I should make sure to first put up the solar panels, thinking about it. Or maybe once I build it, I'm just going to make sure it doesn't actually have the power. And I can do that right here because there's only one power connection right here to the entirety of the module. So if I just take the copper cable, make sure that this is not connected here, then the entirety of the mega module should not be powered. Oh man, even though everything is kind of going down the drains in terms of UPS, I still enjoy the building process. The main thing is we're still not suffering UPS while everything is just running and I'm not doing anything. So who knows how far we could actually take it before we definitely suffer the FPS issues. 
good now uh, quickly making my way back it looks like we were able to build a lot of it but it is getting power from somewhere else i thought the red symbol is not enough power and the yellow one would be no power at all not enough power could be because it's still hooked up to the solar panels that we have going on here but i don't see a connection except to the train stations which is good Okay, not bad. Looks like we did it. We can go ahead and set up more of the solar panels. So I'm going to be working on that. I'm just grabbing some more landfill right here. While we're at it, we're also going to complete the new mega module. So just give me a couple of minutes or so and I'm going to be right back. All right, guys, I am back and I spent a little bit of time troubleshooting. I actually figured out my power problems stem from not having all the reactors activated. And the reason for that was that we weren't able to deliver enough because by now I have so many reactors that storing 5000 of these fuel cells is just absolutely insane. I also noticed at the moment my biggest problem or the bottleneck right now is the iron so I started to hook up some more veins right here as you can see and now all of these stations hopefully eventually are gonna fill up it does look a little bit better now but yeah you can see the iron here isn't being delivered and right here which of course means we're not at capacity in terms of science production. I've also been placing lots more solar panels. So by now we have 291,000 versus 260,000 accumulators. I don't think I'm actually producing enough batteries to go full crazy on solar arrays, but it is a decent enough progress. And now that we fixed the reactor power, we should be golden to set up another mega module. But of course, we're not nearly done here. We need to place more and more. Yeah, I'm still not satisfied with the amount of iron that's being shipped currently. There are too many white stations. So I think what I'm going to do is hook up even more resources. Maybe this one here to see 7 million. And you know, while we're at it, I think I'm also going to do this part here. So if I just copy over this portion, maybe up to this point should already be good enough so that we can line it up. No, hang on. I need to first remove the power poles. Let's do that. Yeah, and I can paste it in with almost no issues. Wonderful. We're gonna get this built. And as soon as that's done... Oh, wait. I need to remove some stuff here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like right now, the biggest impact I can feel is during recording and building. But do not worry. We're gonna get through this. And there we go. The trains are starting to income already. Wonderful. Now, let's go ahead and hook up some more iron resources. But if we manage to balance the incoming resources now, we should be way above 5,000 science packs per minute. I think I'm going to get started with this one that I mentioned before. And there's another one here at the bottom we can take advantage of. Okay, slowly but surely I'm getting happier again. It does look decent with the serving of the stations right now. I had to hook up some more stone resources. And I also had to fix this part right here, which was only having two rails. So I increased that to our four rail system. So if we have a look at the production rate the past minute or so, we are at almost 5,000. Usually we should be reaching the 5,000 mark. And I suspect if I let the game play out and the resource settle down, we should easily be reaching the 5000 mark. Yeah, it looks as though the copper bottleneck is establishing itself again. Though I have to say, I do not have too many copper resources that I can easily hook up. I mean, they are all at the edges right now. Maybe this one here, we can add another six or so trains. But yeah, you get the basic gist. We are now balancing all the resources. My goal is to set up the two missing mega modules here still. And then we're going to surround everything with solar panels and make it look nifty. I even attempted here a little design for the intersections. So we should be able to copy and paste this over and I think I'm going to do something similar for the tracks so we can clearly see from the map where the tracks are with the yellow concrete. So just to wrap things up properly we're going to do that get those three stations hooked up. There we go just like that we got it hooked up just need to rename the stations and we have another six trains. So I think what we're going to be doing the next episode or so is clean everything up Make sure we establish the final perimeter and get rid of everything in between. Like all of these stations, they will have to move and go. Also the uranium station, I'm probably going to move that somewhere else. But other than that, I would say we can wrap it up quite soon and make it clean. 
all I have to make sure is that I definitely have enough resources and we probably have to add another smelter module here at the bottom. We'll have to see. But other than that, I would say at this point, we're going to wrap it up, finally having reached the 5,000 signs per minute mark. Also, at this point, it looks like I cannot quite reach the 60 UPS anymore. So this is definitely going to be the limit, the 5,000 mark. And our goal is just to wrap it up and make it steady at this point. Also, if we go down to 50 UPS, I'm going to try to make some optimization. Maybe some of the reactors we can disable as soon as we have more solar panels. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.